The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. You see, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those who loaded guns and those who dig. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. You see, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those who loaded guns and those who dig. So, like I said, man, I don't want no problem with you, yo. And I'm really being a man of you right now, talking to you. You hear me? Because the only way I know how to react is in rage, yo. And that's from my upbringing. That's from me not having a dad in my life. See what I'm saying? So, I got a lot of pain that I deal with. You see what I'm saying? And the only way I know how to deal with it is to release it on people. And I'm learning how to change, my brother. You should be able to listen to me and hear it in my voice, yo, how sincere I am when I'm talking to you right now. I'm changing my life for the kids, yo. I promise. A.K.A. Siete, A.K.A. Good News, A.K.A. Bad News, A.K.A. The Beast from the East, A.K.A. Razor, A.K.A. Please Don't Ever Disrespect Me, A.K.A. Mr. No Felonies. Seven, A.K.A. Siete, A.K.A. Good News, A.K.A. Bad News, A.K.A. The Beast from the East. A.K.A. Razor A.K.A. Please Don't Ever Disrespect Me A.K.A. Mr. No Felonies Welcome to No Felonies I am your gracious host, Mr. No Felonies Before I begin, I would like to give a big shout out to my mother, Lula Lee, A.K.A. Ruth Thanks for always being there for me I love you if this is your first time visiting, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe to become a part of the No Felonies Movement. Our mission is to spread knowledge to the youth by delivering a powerful message about the importance of avoiding a felony on one's record. For any young guy or young girl out there watching, I need you to think before you act. Your life may depend on it. You only get one life. Ain't no remix on it. Make positive decisions, stay on the right path, and stay out of trouble. Go to nofelonies.com to support the movement. That's nofelonies with an S dot com. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing today? We back better live than ever. I'm taking you behind the veils. 
pulling the curtains back. I'm here to put some paint where it ain't. I'm the realest on YouTube. Ain't nobody doing what I'm doing. It's a movement over here. It's about these kids. I'm speaking knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to all 7th through 12th graders, so listen up closely. Yeah, I know. Before I start each show, I gotta give a shout out to my haters. No, I can't forget y'all haters. Shout out to my haters, all my haters on the left. You know, shout out to all my haters on the right, man. You know, I cannot forget about you haters in the middle. No, I gotta shout y'all out. Y'all are the motivation, man. Haters. Y'all are the motivation. I'm screaming, no felonies over here. You dig? No felonies. That's what we screaming. But check this out. Shout out to the people who love me. I love you too. Love is love. Y'all know who y'all are. I love you. Listen, man. I can lead you to the water, but I can't make you drink. I can feed you the knowledge, but I can't make you think. It's like the Titanic. If you lack and you sink. So if you get thirsty... I suggest that you drink. The phrase for each day. Your teenage years dictate your future. I repeat. Your teenage years dictate your future. The things that you do as a teen can have an astounding impact. On your adult life. I drop new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays now. Rock with your boy. Rock with your boy. No felonies. Turn my music high, 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 high. Yeah. I do. Please charge. Beats with a hook or swallow them and bullets to follow them and there's so much coke that you could run asylum and cops comb this shit top to bottom. They say that we are prone to violence, but as long as we home, we're personalities clash and chrome meets chrome. Coke prices up and down like it's Wall Street home, but this is worse than the Dow Jones. Your brains are now blown all over that brown bone. One slip, you are now gone. Welcome to hell where you are welcome to sell. But when them shells come, you better return them. All scars, we earn them. All calls, we learn them like the back of our hands. We watch the cops hopping out the back of the van. I wear a G on my chest, I don't need that but then. This ain't a soul outfit, Holmes. Holmes is about it. Been clapping the famous before, but play famous for playing me. Y'all shall forever reign nameless. I am old. I tell you the difference between me and them They trying to get they ones, I'm trying to get them M's One million, two million, three million, four In just five years, forty million more You are now looking at the forty million boy I'm raping Death Jam to I'm the hundred million man R-O-C where you I came into this motherfucker Hundred grand strong Nine to be exact From grinding cheap packs Put this in the motion Ain't no rewinding me back Could make 40 on the brick Check this out could beat that. And then somebody, somebody would have told him that I would sell clothing Not in this lifetime Wasn't in my right mind That's another difference That's between me and them I smarten up Open the market up 
1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 18 months, 80 million more Now add that number up with the one I said before You are now looking at one smart black boy Mama ain't raised no fool Put me anywhere on God's green earth I triple my worth, motherfucker well, No felonies, no, no felonies I sell ice in the winter, I sell fire in hell I am a hustler baby, I sell water to a well I was born to get cake, move on and switch states Cop the coup with the roof on and switch states Was born to dictate, never follow all this dick face Get your shit straight, cause this is Big J.I. Yeah, <laughs> Will not lose Will not lose ever, fucker. Yeah. No felonies, no, nah. no felonies, 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 worldwide, no, nah. no felonies, no felonies, no. Nah. No felonies, no, 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 no felonies, no, 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 no felonies, no felonies, y'all. Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to No Felonies, man. I think this is episode six. I'm in a new location, man. Backyard, man. Just giving y'all bird's eye view of what's really going on over here, man. Check it out, man. It's the backyard right there, man. See what I'm saying? See what I'm dealing with right here? This is my backyard right here. You dig? So, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing amazing. You dig? Yeah, man. But, um, we about to get started. And you know how I get down. I like to get right before I get right so we can get right. See what I'm saying? Um, this next joint, when I heard it, I gotta get right so I can get right so we can get right you dig what I'm saying and this song right here when I heard it it made me get right shout out to the LOX one time with the dilly yo what? yeah I gotta squeeze the, the juice, juice out of the head, head. yeah yeah no felonies man no felony. Yeah, yeah. Check the juice out of the headphones, yo. Yo, yo. When you think of me, you think of a problem. Who, what, when, and how you gon' solve them? Automatic or revolver? Can y'all double lesson? Here's the lesson. Most things is infrared, but mine's is fluorescent. No matter where you go, I'ma spot you. No matter how many people you put me in front of, I'ma rock you. And if you try to be that hard top, I'm gon' drop you. I got to treat you like the clutch and pop you. Creep through in the 420 with your honey. Cause you ain't nothing but a playboy that turned bunny. And the only thing left to discuss is more money. And these bullshit games, these chickens is trying to run me. Y'all know y'all can't touch us. I flow luscious. It's so real, I make her hop out and get the duchess. I'm sitting on a thousand birds. And I hide from the camera. Cause the picture's worth a thousand words. And y'all heard, y'all get what y'all deserve. Y'all do the catering while we just get served. When you got some nerve for PH and Jason, do you have any idea who you Facing. Just something about my shit, you'll never figure out It's too hot, burning my mouth, that's why I spit it out It must be real hard for y'all to listen And it's sad, niggas is too broke to pay attention To chillin', sitting on about half a million All my niggas, all my, all my women Next two years, I should see about a billion All for the love of drug dealers yeah. Chillin', sitting on about half a million All my niggas, all my guns, all my women Next two years, I should see about Niggas know the line of work, bulletproof designer shirt, rolling with a china doll. She'll be reminding y'all down to the underworld. Every block monitored, of course. JD kissing LOX boss, a pro, cause I grow off the shit that I absorb. You just another so and so, trying to flow, going broke, trying to buy property, set it up for going coke. Niggas 
making the movie, so I came to edit. Wiping everybody out right before the credits. I'm a hard guy to get along with. Get on the song with when shit be going right. I flip into the wrong shit. The prime artist. Expect me to rhyme hardest. Slash con artist. You gon' get mine regardless. I ain't even big and I size niggas up. Cause they eyes give them up. Look at them and see they what. I'm 22 with 10 in. So there that go. You hear that flow? It drove the underground wacko. Every since 12, I've been spitting like tobacco. Relax though, pop the tape, CD in the wax though. They wanted to have, but this thing about ours, we open up 24 hours. Niggas don't sleep or eat, so when they speak, they need power. So you should keep quiet, you a coward. About to be laid out flat and pushing up flowers. Chilling, sitting on the back. All my niggas, all my, all my women. Next two years, I should see about a billion. All for the love of God. Chilling, sitting on about half a million. With all my niggas, all my guns, all my women. Next two years, I should see 50 million. All for the no, no felonies. No felonies. No, no felonies. All my niggas, all my guns, all my women. Next two years, I should see 50 million. All for the no felonies. Speak me power, so you should kill all my niggas. Yeah. Shout out to the locks, man. You dig? Shout out to the locks. Yeah, we just getting it started around here, man. You dig? You know, you know, I always want to put some paint where it ain't. You hear me? So today's topic is what is the RICO Act and why was it created? What was the RICO Act and why was it created? Part one. You dig? The RICO Act influence and corrupt organization acts, commonly known as the RICO Act, is a United States federal law in 1970 with the primary aim of combating organized crime. Behind its creation was the recognition that traditional law enforced mechanism often proved inadequate when confronting the complex of the activities of the organized crime enterprise. The racketeering, or known as RICO, enacted in 1970 stands as the landmark legislation in the United States aimed at combating the intricate and persuasive activities of organized criminal enterprises. The genesis of this legal can be traced to a critical a critical time in history when traditional laws enforce mechanism struggled to effectively dismantle these complex criminal networks. Historical complex. The late 20th centuries witnessed the rise of organized crime, with entities like the mafia exerting influence over a variety of sectors of American societies. Traditional laws and force found themselves grappling with the sophisticated nature of these criminal enterprises often hindered by legal constraints and the adaptability organized crime groups challenges faced by law enforcement. Organized crimes operated in a realm where legal boundaries were easily exploited. Traditional enforcement focused on individuals as a criminal act found it challenging to penetrate the intricate webs of the criminal organization. The legal structures at the time did not provide adequate tools to provide targeting the oversearching influences and the structures of these entities, adaptability and criminal networks. Organized crime groups demonstrated a remarkable ability to adapt to change circumstances. As law enforcement closed in specific criminal activities, these groups will evolve and diversify their operations, making it difficult for authorities to keep pace with the evolving nature of organized crime. Facets of legitimacy. Many criminal enterprises maintain a facet of legitimacy, operated seemingly legal businesses alongside their illicit activities. This made it challenging for law enforcement to establish a clear line of sight into the core of these organizations as the criminal elements were often shielded by legislative fronts. Legislative response. In response to the challenges, the U.S. Congress enacted the RICO Act, introducing a paradigm shift and law enforcement approaching organized crime. The act aimed to be beyond prosecuting individuals and provided a comprehensive framework dismantling the entire criminal organization. Keys, provisions of the RICO Act. 
the RICO Act in 18 U.S. 1962 outlines four key criminal offenses known as predicate acts, forming the basis for the RICO charges. These offenses target not just the commission of the specific crime, but the involvement in the pattern of racketeering activities, thereby addressing the broader influence and structure of criminal organizations, the enterprise, and the patterns of racketeering activity. Central to the RICO Act, the concept of an enterprise encompassing various forms such as legal entities, corporations, and informal associations to establish a violation of the act, prosecutors must demonstrate a pattern of the racketeering activity requiring evidence of at least two acts of racketeering within a 10-year period. I'm going to say that again. Prosecutors must demonstrate a pattern of racketeering activity requiring evidence of at least two acts within a 10 year period. So basically what they're saying is that if you do something and you were a crew or a gang or something like that and they're watching you and if you do this act two times within 10 years they're gonna hit you with a RICO. Oh boy they're gonna hit you with a RICO, they're gonna hit you with a RICO, they're gonna hit you with a RICO man. Civil RICOs and Border Implications Beyond its criminal applications, the RICO Act introduced a civil cause action allowing individuals and entities harmed by racketeering activities to seek damages. This expands the scope of the act beyond traditional organized crime, enabling its application in the context involving fraud, corruption, and other illicit activities. Impacts and Criticism the RICO Act has had a significant impact on law enforcement's ability to combat crime, leading to successful prosecution and dismantling number of criminal enterprises. However, it is not without criticism. Some argue that it's broad language that expensive applications led to its context far removed from conditional organized crime, raising questions about the appropriate application. The Racketeering Influencing Corruption Organization Act emerged as a response to the inadequates of the traditional law enforcement mechanisms that face the organized enterprises. It's an initiative approach targeting the structure and influences of criminal organization has a proven effect in dismantling these intricate networks. However, ongoing debates persist about the act's appropriate application in diverse situations and slowing that the fight against organized crime remains dynamic and responsive to involving challenges. In the late 20th centuries marked a transformative period in the landscape of American law. As the nation grappled with the rise of organized crime entity, prominently by the mafia during this era, law enforcement agencies faded multifaceted challenges that stem from the complex, the interconnection activities of these criminal enterprises. A paradigm shift in their strategies and tools. The root of organized crime in the United States can be traced back to the early 20th century gaining substantial momentum during the probate era. However, however, it was in the later part of the century that these criminal organizations emphasized by the Mafia reached the zen of their influence. The Mafia with its intricate networks of illicit activities posed a significant threat to the social and economic fabric of American society. The rise of organized crime. The Mafia or La Costa Nostra emerged as a powerful force welding influences over various sectors including labor unions, businesses, and even elements within state governments. This was this was falsified by a combination of factors including the allure of lucrative illicit markets, the ability to exploit legal loopholes, and a code of silence or omerta that shield the members from law enforcement scrutiny challenges faced by law enforcement. Legal loopholes, elusive structures. One of the most challenging confronted by law enforcement was the adaptability of organized crime to explicit legal vulnerabilities. 
criminal enterprises involve sophisticated structures would often operate within the bounds of the law, making it impossible for additional law enforcement to penetrate their operations. In addition to exploiting legal ambiguities, criminal enterprises develop elusive organization structures that further challenge law enforcement's effort. These structures were designed to, to insult the upper echelons, criminal hierarchies from direct involvement in illicit activities creating layers and buffers that shield kingpins from legal problems. The Mafia, for instance, adopted a hierarchy structure with bosses, underbosses, and capos overseeing criminal activities. This paradigm-like organization served not only to criminal organizations but to shield high-ranking members from direct implications and illegal pursuits. The, re the result was a complex network that eluded traditional law enforcement approaching of targets, individual criminals for specific crimes. The mitigations of traditional law enforcement. Traditional law enforcement's mechanics rooted in a reactive model focused on investigating and prosecuting individual crimes. Prove ill-equipped to tackle the expansive of the interconnected activities of the organized crime, the legal framework in place struggled to address the nuisance of criminal, criminal enterprises that operated in the fringes of the legal and manipulated the system to their advantage. Moreover, the compartmentalized nature of criminal or activities coupled with the elusive organizational structures made it challenging to connect the dots and build cases could effectively dismantle these organizations. As law enforcement pursued individual criminal charges, the broader, more systematic issues at the heart of the organized crime remain largely untouched. The call for initiative legal tools. The challenges faced by law enforcement in the late 20th centuries prompted a call for initiative legal tools that could pierce the armor of organized crime. Reconnecting the limits, the limitations of existing legislation, law lawmakers embarked on a journey to craft a legal framework that, that would directly the structures and the patterns incoherent of organized criminal enterprises. This quest for more potential legal instructions led to the formulation of the, the enactment of the Rat and Tearing Influencing Corrupting Act in 1970, also known as the RICO Act. As a, a representation of a paradigm shift in law enforcement strategy, moving away from a focus on an individual criminal acts to a comprehensive approach that would address overarching influencing and structuring of criminal organization. The RICO Act as a transformational legal tool enacted as a part of the Organization Crime Control Act. The RICO Act introduced novels and expansive approaching to, to provide prosecutors with the authority to target, not, to target not only the perpetrators of specific acts but also the entire criminal organization itself. The RICO Act primarily objective was to disrupt the continuity and the stability of organized crime enterprises by dismantling their structures. Predicate acts, the acts, identify specific crimes, offenses termed predicate, including bribery, extortion, fraud, narcotics, trafficking, the collectively a pattern racketeering of activity. Enterprise Central to the RICO Act is concept as an enterprise which various legal entities, corporations, partnerships, or informal associations. This broad definition allows the law to a wide range of criminal organizations beyond traditional mobs. Patterns of racketeering activity. To establish a RICO violation, prosecutors must demonstrate a pattern of racketeering activity, requiring evidence of at least two acts of racketeering within a 10-year period. This provision addresses the system of nature organized crime. Civil RICO. In addition to its criminal applications, the RICO Act introduced a civil cause of action, empowering individuals and entities harmed by racketeering activities to seek damages. This 
civil provision has been instrumental in addressing not only criminal enterprises but also instances of fraud, corruption, and the various sectors impact of the RICO Act. The RICO Act has a profound impact on law enforcement's ability to confront organized crime. It provides a holistic approach that allows prosecutors to target the very fabric, fabrics of the criminal organization, disrupting their structures and their patterns. The act successfully was an evident in the high profile prosecutor of the mafia families and the other organized families entities. Moreover, the civil RICO provision provided instrumental in addressing not just criminal enterprises but also instances of fraud and corruption in diverse sectors. This dual application of RICO acts demonstrates the, the, the versatility and the effectiveness combating a wide spectrum of illegal, illegal activities. Criticism and controversies. Despite its success, the RICO Act has not been without criticism and controversies. Some argue that the broad language and the expansive applications have led to its content for removal from traditional organized crime. The Act's application in case involving white collar crimes, political corruption, and even civil disputes has sparked debates about employing such powerful tools in various situations. Evolution of law enforcement strategies. The introduction of the RICO Act, making it a pivotal moment in the evolution of law enforcement strategies against criminal organization, is a necessity, a shift from a reactive criminal specific approach to a proactive organization centric method. This change in perspective undergoes the need for undergoing adaptation and legal framework to keep pace with the ever going strategies of criminal enterprises. The challenges faced by law enforcement in the late 1920s, stemming from the rise of organized crimes and its exploitation of illegal loops of and elusive structures prompted a transformation response that an act of the racketeering influence and corruption act. This is an instrument born out of the necessity to confront dynamics and sophisticated adversaries provided prosecutors with the means to target the very essence of criminal organizations. Infiltrations of legal sectors. Organized crime entities, entities skillfully infiltrate legal sectors of the economy such as construction, waste management, and the entertainment industry not only provided them with financial clout but also create a veer legitimacy shield shielded their illicit activities from scrutiny intimidation and corruption the persuasive influence of organized crime extends beyond financial dealings a culture of intimidation corruption law enforcement officials politicians and even judicial figures found themselves ensnared in the web of the coercion and the bribery undermining the very institutions tasked with upholding the rule of the law. Globalization of criminal activities in the late 20s witnessed an unprecedented globalization of criminal activities. Organized crime syndicates expanded their operations across international borders taking advantage of judicial system complexities that Hampered the ability of individual law enforcement agencies to pursue and apprehend offenders. Technical challenges, advance in technology present both opportunities and challenges for law enforcement to this day. While offered new tools for surveillance and investigation, organized crime entities adeptly adapt these technologies to enhance their operational securities and communications create a cat and mouse game with law enforcement. Public perception and cultural challenges. Through the romanticization of organized crime by popular culture fueled by movies and television shows created complex backdrop for law enforcement public perceptions often veered between viewing these criminals as folk heroes and acknowledging the coercion the impact of their activities completing with efforts to gain a widespread support of anti-crimes initiatives witness intimidations and fear the mafia's code of silence enforced through fear and intimidation made witnesses reluctant to come forward 
to testify. I'm going to say that again. The mafia's code of silence enforced through the fear and intimidation made witnesses reluctant to come forward and testify, meaning they ain't coming to testify because they're in fear for their life. This or murder created a wall of silence that impeded investigations and trials leaving law enforcement with the daunting task of breaking through this fortress of secrecy. Paradigm Shift the RICO Act. The reign of fear organization crime particularly amplified by the mafia organized or, 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 operated <laughs> pardon me, operated with the reign of fear that cast a long shadow over communities and individuals. The fear for speaking out against criminal activities, cooperating with law enforcement, or testifying in court became a powerful deterrent. This culture of intimidation was meticulously cultivated by criminal organizations to maintain control, protect their interests, and ensure the continued operation of their illicit enterprises, or MRTA, the code of silence. At the heart of this culture of fear was the code of silence known as Omerta. Rooted in Italy tradition, this code was adopted and adapted by organized crime to create a wall of silence that shielded its members from exposure and prosecution. Omerta demanded absolute loyalty to the criminal organization. That the members and the, the associates refrain from disclosing any information about the organization activities either under the threat of legal consequences. Consequences for violating Omorta. The consequences for violating Omorta were severe and awfully deadly. Those who dared to break the cold risk retaliation not only against themselves but also against their families. Let me say that again. The consequences for violating or murder were severe and awfully deadly. Those who dared to break the code risk retaliation not only against themselves but against their families. This system of intimidation ensured that potential witnesses or informants faced not only legal reper repercussions but also the looming threat of violence or even death. The calculated use of fear served as a potential tool for maintaining secrecy and the coercion of the criminal enterprises. Witness intimidation, witness willing to testify against organized crime entities face a myriad of in intimidation facts. The threats, personally safety, coherent, and the potential to harm one's loved ones created an atmosphere of terror that communities where organized crime held sway. The reach of organized crime extended beyond the immediate acts of violence infiltrating the daily lives of those who might consider cooperate law with law enforcement. The wall of silence. This per perceived fear of intimidation created a metaphorical wall of silence that impeded law enforcement, investigations, and prosecutions. The wall was constructed not only through direct acts of violence but also through a carefully cultivated reputation for ruthless and demonstrating willingness to follow through on their threats. As a result, witnesses became reluctant to step forward fearing of the consequences of breaking or motor or betraying the unwritten laws of the criminal underworld. Challenges for law enforcement. The wall of silence presented significant challenges for law enforcement agencies seeking to demonstrate to dismantle organized crime. The reluctance of witnesses to cooperate hinders the gathering of crucial evidence making it difficult to build strong cases against criminal organization. Prosecutors faced an uphill battle convincing individuals to testify knowing the risk that they faced and their families might face. Witness prote protection programs. In response to challenging possessed by or murder, witness protect protection programs were established to encourage individuals to come forward and provide testimony against these organized crimes. These programs offer lifelines for witnesses providing relocation, new identities, and security measures to safeguard them and their families potential from potential retaliation. However, even with these protective measures, the, persu the persuasive fear 
instilled by organized crime made it challenging to convince individuals to break their silence. Legal response, recognizing the unique challenges posed by omerta, witness intimidation, legal response were crafted, addressed these legal issues. Penalties for witness tampering and intimidation aim to create a legal deterrent against such activities. Additionally, prosecutors developed strategies to build cases that relied on a combination of witness testimony, cooperating evidence, and initiative testimony techniques to counteract the wall of silence. Involving strategies as law enforcement grapple with the enforcement entrenched culture of the fear of intimidation associated with organized crime, strategies involved to adapt the changing landscapes to task force, specialized units, and collaborative efforts between federal, state, and local agencies were formed to pool, formed to pool resources and expertise. The goal was not only to dismantle the criminal organization, but also to erode the foundations of fear that sustained them. Impact of high profile cases. Successful cases demonstrate that individuals could come forward and cooperate with law enforcement and testify against organized crime without facing insurmountable risks. These victories weakened to perceive invincibilities of crime organizations gradually chipping away at the wall of silence. Culture shifts over time. Culture shifts within communities affected organized crime contribute to the erosion of a murder or murta. As public sentiment turned against these criminal organizations, individuals became more willing to cooperate with law enforcement embodying by the realization that breaking the code of silence was not synonymous with death with a death sentence. Cultural shifts coupled with ongoing legal efforts contributed to the disbanding of the wall of silence that had shielded the organization for decades. Ongoing challenges why progressives has made it challenging for omerta. Efforts to protect witnesses, enhance legal deterrence, and foster community resilience are an intricate component of the ongoing battle to dismantle the wall of silence and bringing these involved in organized crime to justice. The intimidation by the code of silence known as omerta created a formidable wall that made witnesses reluctant to come forward. This just shows that the prosecution, the metaphorical wall of silence through violence, coercion, and the threat of retribution stood as a symbol of a powerful dynamic of the criminal underworld. However, involving witnesses and programs have made it difficult for the mob to try to get away with the wall. Even though the dismantling of the wall and undermining foundation of fear that, that sustained organized crime for generations, the, or, the ongoing battle against witness intimidation requires a multifaceted approach address not only the legal challenges but also the broader structures and social factors that penetrate the code of silence. The RICO Act that was formed in 1970 is a powerful tool to combat the organization crime addressing the intricacies of its operations, the legal bounds, by identifying a pattern of racketeering. Intel. The RICO Act has changed the ongoing challenges despite the success. Your teenage years dictate your future. I repeat, your teenage years dictate your future. The things that you do as a teenager can have an astounding impact on your adult life. You only get one life. Ain't no remix on it. Make positive decisions. Make start smart choices. And stay out of trouble. Saving one kid at a time. 
I drop new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. Follow us on all social media platforms. NoFelonies.com. Follow us on Instagram. NoFelonies the number one. Follow us on TikTok at NoFelonies. As the curtain draws to a close on this week's trip, this week's episode, Trailblazers, we've only scratched the surface of thrilling journeys ahead. Join us next week as, as we delve deeper into the realms of knowledge, where hidden revelations, unexpected twists, and life-altering insights await. Brace yourself for the next episode that promises to redefine the narratives and leave you on the edge of your seat. Hungry for the revelation that will reshape everything you thought you knew. Don't miss out on next week's episode. The plot thickens. And the adventure continues. Screaming no felonies. <sighs> Screaming no felonies. I know you don't understand how I'm running my YouTube, mom, but I got to scare these kids. I got to scare them straight. So I got to show them the cuts. I got to show them if you get in trouble, that's what's going to happen when you go to prison. And those little cuts that you see on the faces, that ain't nothing compared to not making it home, being dead. Because they trying to stab people up with a lot of big things. They trying to poke people. So my thing is... Get letting these kids know I got to show them the I got to show them it graphic. I can't be holding their hand. I really got to show them put their hand to the fire so they'll know not to do it.